Hey Ed Squeezers, hope you're well. This question comes in from Aaron Lloyd on Facebook, don't, who asks, why do we get car sick? Oh man, you did. Now I, I experienced this as well, um, especially when Tom, our cameraman, is driving, because it's like this, it's utterly horrendous, isn't it mate? Car sickness is just the same essentially as seasickness or air sickness. It all comes into that messy family of motion sickness. And it's all down to the fact that your brain is getting conflicting signals from your eyes and your ears. Your inner ear is responsible for your balance, for looking after your equilibrium. And there are two different types of equilibrium, static and dynamic. Now, static uh, equilibrium, basically looks after the orientation of your head and your body relative to the ground. And dynamic equilibrium looks after the orientation of your head and body relative to sudden movements. So far, so good. So, if you're sat in the back of a car or at the back of a bus, your eyes can see the floor next to you. And they're telling you that you're completely stationary. That static equilibrium is saying, yep, nice and comfortable and balanced here. The thing is, your ears, that dynamic equilibrium is like, what? I'm bouncing around all over the place here. And your brain is getting those conflicting signals going to it. It gets confused. What it thinks is it thinks that your body is poisoned. And the way that you should deal with that is, yeah, the, uh, the nasty stuff. But there is hope. If you're sat there, try focusing on the horizon in the distance or sit further forward in the car, or indeed in the bus. That should keep your lunch down, and that is why the driver doesn't tend to get car sick. And if you do like these little nuggets of nerdery, please do subscribe to us here at Head Squeeze for loads more. Until next time, happy head squeezing.